Today we're visiting a family conference on lysosomal storage diseases organised by a patient organisation. A researcher is explaining what these diseases are. Lysosomal storage diseases are a group of over 70 inherited disorders. These include Gaucher, Fabre, Tay-Sachs, Neiman-Pick, Batten, Crabbe and mucopolysaccharidosis diseases. These disorders are the result of inheriting a faulty gene. We have two copies of each of our genes, one inherited from each parent. Lysosomal storage diseases are autosomal recessive. This means that a child will only be affected if they inherit a mutant copy from both parents. The probability of the baby being affected is 1 in 4 for each pregnancy. Our genes carry instructions for generating proteins in the body. A mutant gene will code for an abnormal protein which will not work properly. Symptoms usually appear in childhood, however, adult forms also occur. One in 5,000 live births are affected by these diseases. Some symptoms are related to the brain, including seizures, difficulty in swallowing and walking. However, other organs can also be affected, including the liver and spleen. In lysosomal storage diseases, a specialised part of the cell called the lysosome goes wrong. Lysosomes are the waste and recycling centres of the cell. They contain enzymes that digest big molecules. If lysosomal enzymes are defective, waste materials build up inside the lysosome. This accumulation or storage leads to the symptoms of these diseases. The diagnosis is based on symptoms and can be confirmed with a genetic test. Some lysosomal storage diseases are treated with enzyme replacement therapies. A functional version of the enzyme is given to the patient, usually by regular infusion into the blood. Drug-based therapies are also available for some diseases. Many lysosomal storage diseases do not have approved therapies but can be managed symptomatically. For example, seizures can be treated with anti-seizure medication. Physiotherapy can also be useful for many patients. Patient support groups are vital resources. They provide high-quality support, including access to accurate information and expert clinical advice, mental health and well-being support, opportunities to connect with other patients, access to the latest research and clinical trial updates, opportunities to contribute to or participate in research studies. Please click the link to take part in a short survey and provide your feedback and to access support organisations. This video is made possible through funding from the Wellcome Trust. Together, we can make a difference.